Hello, brethren, and welcome to this presentation that has been taken from Solomon. This week, I shall be talking about Arthur Conan Doyle, the creator of Sherlock Holmes. Arthur Ignatius Conan Doyle was born on the 22nd of May, 1859, in Edinburgh. His father, Charles Altamont Doyle, was a civil servant in the Edinburgh Office of Works. His mother, Mary Doyle, nee Foley, was a vivacious young woman of 17. He was the first in a family that included three sisters and a brother. His father suffered from epilepsy and not long after arriving in Edinburgh, started to drink. Eventually, he was institutionalised and died in an asylum in 1893. Doyle's mother was a very well-educated and master storyteller who encouraged her son to read and by the age of six to produce his first story, an illustrated tale about a man and a tiger. At the age of 10, Arthur Doyle went first to a Jesuit boarding school in London, then a prominent public school at Stonyhurst in Lancashire. It was from here that he used his teachers and his fellow pupils as models of his characters in many of his stories. At 17, he studied medicine at the University of Edinburgh and graduated with a degree as a Bachelor of Medicine in 1881, completing his Doctor of Medicine degree in 1885. After acting as a ship's doctor, he went on to practice medicine first in Plymouth and then South Sea as an eye specialist. He was not particularly successful, so began to write and finally gave up his career in medicine in 1891. At university, he was taught by Dr. Joseph Bell, who was a master at observation, logic, deduction and diagnosis. All of these qualities were later to be found as part of the persona of the celebrated detective Sherlock Holmes. It was at this stage that he adopted his middle name, Conan, to his surname. In Beaton's Christmas Annual of 1887, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle presented to the public his first story about Sherlock Holmes, a study in Scarlet. Hence was born this remarkable series of over 50 detective fiction stories. Conan Doyle, in fact, became so disenchanted with his famous detective that on several occasions he attempted to kill him off. In the final problem, written in 1893, Holmes was killed in a fall over the Rickenbach Falls in Switzerland, whilst in deadly combat with his archenemy, Professor Moriarty, but subsequently brought back to life in the Adventure of the Empty House in 1903. Although best known for his Sherlock Holmes collection, he was actually a very prolific writer on various topics of interest. He actually wrote more than 100 other titles. These included plays, verse, memoirs, short stories, several historical novels, as well as supernatural and speculative fiction. He was also a remarkably creative character who introduced downhill skiing to Switzerland, successfully campaigned for steel helmets for soldiers in combat, and inflatable rubber collars, the forerunner of today's life jackets for sailors. In 1900, and then again in 1906, he ran unsuccessfully for Parliament, Conan Doyle was subsequently knighted in 1902. He married Louise Tui Hawkins in 1885, who died of tuberculosis in 1906. They had two children, one of whom, Kingsley, died from his wounds incurred during the First World War. As a result of his supposedly contacting his son, Conan Doyle began to dedicate himself to spiritualism. In 1907, he married Jean Lecky, and there were three children from that marriage. Initiated into Phoenix Lodge, number 257, South Sea, Hampshire, on the 26th of January, 1887, 
at the age of 27, he was subsequently passed to the second degree on the 23rd of February 1887 and raised to the sublime degree on the 23rd of March 1887. He resigned from his lodge two years later in 1889. In the October 1901 edition of Masonic Illustrated, it was reported that Conan Doyle visited a lodge at Bloemfontein with brother Rudyard Kipling during the Boer War. Also in 1901, he was made an honorary member of the Lodge of Edinburgh, Mary's Chapel, number one. This was conferred upon him when he accepted an invitation to speak at a Burns night dinner. In 1902, he rejoined his lodge, coinciding with him becoming a Knight of the Realm. Without having made any further progress, he finally resigned from the craft in 1911. He was taken ill upon his return home following a psychic lecture tour on the continent in 1929. On a cold day in 1930, he was found lying in his garden with his hand upon his heart and clutching a single snowdrop. He passed to the Grand Lodge above on the 7th of July 1930, surrounded by his family. He was buried in the garden of his family home at Windlesham in Surrey. The headstone over his grave was of English oak and inscribed with his name, his date of birth, and the four words, steel true, blade straight. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The accompanying file attachment to this email contains the end notes for this, the acknowledgements and the recommended uses of nuggets. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, brethren as much as I have, and I shall look forward to giving another rendition next week. Stay safe and be well.